Hello and welcome back to some more chemist gameplay. I'm your guy Semi Mong. We've just been chucked into a full lobby game. Fantastic. And it's only just started. Well, it's literally a little bit only just started. But we're getting there. Oh, at least we got that kill. But, uh, uh, I've got an itchy nose and I think we just got gooped from somewhere. <gasps> Count Tropula are literally right here. Right there in front of our faces. My itchy nose continues on. So in the last chemist video guys, we were playing Turf Wars and I was just doing general how best to use the chemist video. This is what this is going to be as well, just uh, how best to use the chemist. But this time, we're in a suburbanation game mode, okay guys? So it's not Turf Wars, we don't have a a fixed point on where enemies are going to spawn, where they're aiming to like capture, what they're going to do. But we're going to see how well we do because if you don't know, the chemist is it's not hard to play. Like I find the chemist is pretty easy to play, but it's different to play. So the chemist, you have to get up close and personal with whoever you're trying to attack before you can actually do any damage because the gun's range is just insane. Look, bam. You have to get so, like, up close and within your target is unreal. So I've equipped my healing station and I've still got my heal bomb on since the last video. That's simply to heal myself. The general idea of using this character is to warp in, get a few kills, and then warp back out. So that's why I've got my warp zone rather than my energy warp. And I've got my healing station, obviously, to just heal myself rather than being able to heal other teammates. Because although I'm a scientist, although I'm meant to be a healer, I'm, I'm, I'm all about the kills in this guy, in this sort of, in this character use, I was about to say I'm all about the kills in this game, now I'm all about the kills every time I play the scientist, every time, oh but there's so many, so many citrons here, come on, let's do, at least get one more, let's at least get one more, I've got um, extended mag and reload time on as well guys, so overall I think my three character upgrades are extended mag, so rather than seven bullets I've got six, which is fantastic, I've got my reload time on so I'm actually reloading faster, and then I've got the speed upgrade on, but this game is just being absolutely absolutely dominated like we're suburbanating everywhere i'm trying to stay in the middle just because it's the most targeted people want to try and capture b but you can see they're going for a they're going for c to try and capture an anchor point first before heading towards the most optimized flag let's see if we can take out this citron and to protect a come on there's no point rolling around bud that's not gonna help okay so the chemist just does insane damage that's why i like to use him and i do find using any other character a bit hard i'm not gonna lie i like using the chemist just because it does do this insane amount of damage. It's nice, it's, it's uh, suited towards my play style. I like to warp in, cane absolutely everything, then just warp out. But that's on Turf Wars. So on Turf Wars, you can just warp into the garden, destroy anyone, then just warp back out, and bam. You've got an, an amazing amount of kills, and you've uh, defended the, tur the garden, the garden, or the graveyard. I was about to say, and then you've defended the turf war. But no, it's not just called a turf war. And then you've defended the garden, which is fair enough. Managed to take him out there. Oh, can we get behind this trumpet? Yes, we can. Come on. Oh, oh, we took each other out. I couldn't get my healing station down in time. Ah. Oh. No, but now we're in a different game mode. I'm finding that I'm not getting as many kills, but I'm a great defender because of the amount of damage I do. So any flags that I can see are being taken. So that's just a sea flag. I'm going towards the sea flag because it's starting to be taken. I'm going to try and defend it. And that's because I've just got an insane amount of damage. I can defend it, okay, guys? Because, look, 40 damage. Oh, he was so close. How much was he on? 6%. 6% if I didn't put my healing station down I would have gotten that last shot off But then that means that I'm literally just losing out on damage guys I'm losing out on being healed Let's try and get the healing station down now But we got trapped in a spike weed So there's a lot more to look out for on a game of suburbanation it seems We're actually going to win this match But I'm getting trapped left right and centre There's a lot more sneaky tactics to look out for in suburbanation Oh, 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 Citron Oh my god, you just go into that zone and you're dead. You're literally dead. At least I healed my teammates then with my heal bomb. That might have kept them alive enough to actually capture C, but it didn't. It didn't. Oh, yo, don't try and take me out, bro. Come on, broski. Broham. Oh, yo, got him midair. Actually got the broham midair. Fantastic. Let's walk behind this guy. Oh, walk behind him, but we only got the assist. So I'm finding that my itchy nose really is a big problem at the moment. This is ridiculous. But I'm finding, even though I'm only doing, like, one shot off, that one shot's enough to actually get me the assist most times. Let's walk behind here. Where is he? Where is he? He's there. The stone pee. The stone pee. We managed to get him off. Let's try and heal this guy. Guy. 
Come back. Scientist. Scientist, I have a healing station for you. Come back, Mr. Scientist. Nope, nope, he's not coming back. But we have won that game, guys. So I'm just going to wait for the pre-lobby timer to run through and then catch you in the next game. <laughs> And here comes the second game, guys. Counting down in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. All right, we're going off. All right, what's just the closest flag? It seems that I'm going to actually go for C. Going to use my warp or one of them. Just let it recharge. I do try and keep both of my warps, guys. Don't matter what game mode I'm playing. I do like to warp in and warp out. So if you've got the surplus time to be able to use a warp to get you closer to your destination, then go. Go ahead and do that. But if you haven't, make sure you save those warps. Because it's best to save yourself a warp to actually get out. And then walk into a fight rather than warping in and not being able to warp out. The pure fact that you need to warp out to be able to heal yourself and then continue on the fight. Whereas if you warp in and can't warp out, you're you're kind of screwed. You know what I mean? You're kind of screwed. How did we not even get him? Nah. I'm not allowing this. I'm not allowing this. I'm not allowing this. No. Heal me. Oh! A second later and I would have survived. A second later and I would have survived. So in terms of actual gameplay, guys, there's not much I can sort of suggest in way of different tips for how to play this character for suburbanation like pretty much you play it as you would be playing turf wars you go in for the kills you try and warp out it's like this is all that is needed to know and because they've got actually a helmet on while they're in that mode uh pea shooters are actually more deadly while in gatling mode you can't actually attack them so well you can attack them but they don't have they have more armor so to say so you're not doing as much damage which is fair enough but just be wary of it it can screw you over i know i've gone in to attack a pea shooter let's say with only four bullets and usually a pea shooter with only four bullets you're going to be able to take them out whereas he's in gatling mode you're doing less damage you're not going to be able to take him out look at that Four bullets takes out a pea shooter that's not in Gatlin mode. I say it and I prove it. Fantastic. But yeah, when they are in Gatlin mode, they are a lot harder to take out. It's the same for actually sunflowers when they're in a solar flower mode. And I believe, is it the same for anyone else, such as a cactus? No, it's not the same for a cactus, because a cactus doesn't have a sort of grounding mode. You're not, like, grounding yourself down to the floor. If you're a cactus, you're staying where you are generally most of the time. Oh, come on. Please. Please. Oh, yeah, yeah, we get this corn. Can we get the corn? Yes, can we get the citron as well, though? Can we get the citron as well? Oh, we got the assist on the citron. I need to wait for my charge to charge up and we have to go up to him. Oh, yo, no, no, I need... Come on. No, I need this heal bomb to go off to save my life. We got the charge. We got the charge. We got the charge. Can we close on in? Oh, we can't close on him. Big mistake, buddy. Big mistake. And we're taking A now as well. Oh, 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 no. Walk behind him. Walk behind him, no. Oh, no, no, come on, heal bomb, heal bomb, oh! So, I'm gonna have to work on actually when to chuck my heal bomb, so... Heal bomb acts like a grenade, guys. So if you're gonna chuck it in a flat direction, it's gonna roll for quite a while. So if you know you're gonna be warping in that direction within the like they say next 10 seconds, and you're going into a fight, that's the direction you want to be going. Chuck your heal bomb in before you roll in, because then you'll warp into the direction the heal bomb is, and you'll just get healed mid fight, which is fantastic. You always want that. Oh, nice double kill there. Oh, come on, can we make ah oh, triple kill? The triple kill of dreams. The triple kill of dreams! I didn't get my heal down! Oh! The quad! The quad! Fantastic! Let's try and help take A. There we go. Chuck a heal bomb in for both of us. He knows to stay near it. You know to get in the heals. Can we go for the corn that's around here? I'm actually going to go for it. It's warping again. Oh, the cactus is unknowing! The unknowing cactus! It seems we can't actually take out... Um, what is it? Tromper sticky things on the floor with our gun. We're getting a load of assists here as well. Just by going in and getting one or two shots off on enemies. Let's try and take out this Tromper. Oh, oh, there we go. Another assist with literally only one bullet. That's fantastic. Let's warp into this corn. Oh! No, corn, no! Oh, no, 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 I'm gonna die! Ah! That was just a messy situation then. I thought the corn was a lone corn. I thought he was a lone wolf. But he was not a lone wolf. He was not a lone wolf whatsoever. Let's try and go back towards C and actually capture it. Try and get another suburbanation mode. Get all of those tasty coins going because... Suburbanation mode is actually a nice coin technique that I use for solo play because it gives you a lot of coins guys If you're like in suburbanation mode, it gives you 20 coins a second So 
in total, six minutes gives you 6k, and it's like 100k per hour. He's amazing. For the full technique, be sure to check out our playlist below in the description. But that's all you need to know, guys. 100 coins an hour? Let's try and capture C and actually... Because if we don't capture C, they would have started getting some nice points there. Sorry, bud. Bad move, bad move, bad move, buddy. Bad move, buddy. Oh, look at that. Shucky heal bomb in. Heal up me and you all stop. Oh. My god, we got John Citron. John Cena literally came out of nowhere. <laughs> what? That's Citron. I didn't even see him. I didn't even see his like, character portrait to show that he was coming in. Alright, can we get up here and take out the Rose? Because this All Star is all alone. Let's just try and get in behind. Where are they? The Rose is here. The Rose is here. Bad Rose. Oh, look at that. One shot and we get a shared Vanquish. Fantastic. There you go, Engineer. Take a heal bomb as well because why not? We get more EXP even though we don't actually need it. We are max promotion and it's just fantastic. Bad move, bud. Bad move. Oh, not bad move. Not bad move. Is he just staying within his burrow? I think he is. Oh! Oh my god, I was literally about to warp. I was literally about to warp as well. Oh, what are the chances? Unrevivable. That scientist could have grabbed me if I was not unrevivable. Let's try and warp up behind these and take out these citrons coming down. Trying to take B. Who do you think you are trying to take my B flag? That's disgraceful. It's my B flag. Is there anyone else? I'm trying to grasp where they're actually coming from. They just seem to be coming from every direction. Literally every direction. Oh, no. Let's try to take him out. Come on. He got some nice damage off. We need to get a healing bomb here. Else we're going to die. Oh! Another chomper out of nowhere. Once again, just need to get my hit, um, healing bomb times on point. But look at that, guys. We've practically won the game. I hope you have enjoyed this chemist gameplay. Like, I love playing the chemist. I'm going to be going through each of the different game modes of the chemist as well. Just to see how he fares up and how well he can do. But let's just try and take out the Citron as our last kill. Come on. No, 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 no. No, no, no. <gasps> 27% health. That was just a major, major balls up from my end. But I think we have eventually just won this game. I, I, I'm happy with the gameplay I've got. We got some nice, decent kills off. Come oh! I could have got the rose, the corn, and maybe the chomper if I followed where he went. But that has been Suburbanation using the chemist, guys. If you have enjoyed, be sure to leave a like down below. If you're social or just want to check out more Plants vs. Zombies, we've got our Twitter and Facebook links below and our playlist link below as well. And, of course, if you want to see more, be sure to hit that big red subscribe button. And we ended that game on a... 16 and 8, so a 2 KD, not that bad. But until next time, guys, thanks, and I'll see you on the next video.